Hello, Blood Wash Church members and partners. Today, I'm not going to bring you a teaching. What I'm going to do is nudge you, give you a nudge. Similar to how I would do the person that would come to my home for the Bible study, and I kept nudging her, nudging her to put in for jobs because God had something for her. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm giving you a nudge and I'm asking you, I'm pleading with you in a sense. I want you to attend the business leadership conference that's going to be in Chicago. Now, you don't have to travel to Chicago. You can watch it right online and it's absolutely free. It's free 99. So your question might be, well, why am I doing this? Why am I using the platform of Blood Wash Church and this valuable time and your attention to talk about something that's happening in Chicago because it's going to help us right here in Detroit. Did you listen to the broadcast last week where I gave the statistics about the poverty level in Detroit? Well, we've got to change that. And the platform has already been set up to help us to change that. Why reinvent the wheel? If there are mechanisms in place already that can help us to get us rolling, to get us moving, we will be foolish to try to reinvent the wheel. And we're not foolish people, we are wise. Now, last week, I talked about people like Byron Allen, who's the, the billionaire. But today, I'm just going to talk about some ordinary people like you and me. Just ordinary people that I became acquainted with through going to these business and leadership conferences. And one person had been in prison and came out started a, a restaurant it was doing okay but through his connection with this joseph business school the man's now a, a millionaire now and i don't i believe what i heard don't get me wrong i believe the testimony but i actually went to the restaurant well it's, it's more of a carry out type place i actually went got in my car and drove there and talked to the man now, his motto is good food in the hood. And you, trust me, it is in the hood. I would say, GPS, don't fail me now. You go there, it's a plexiglass. You don't just walk up to the counter and order your food. It is in a, 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 a neighborhood where even when I was leaving, he told me, he says, you be careful driving out here. However, the man is living his dream. He's living his purpose. He got connected with people that could thrust him into his destiny, thrust him into the plan that God had for his life. And I'm going to tell you too, that food was absolutely delicious. While there, I actually met um, another woman who they had featured and she has a, a was this millionaire and she is uh, has a welding business or so welding company, and she doesn't know how to weld. So I'm thinking, okay, well, this, this these kind of things interest me because I don't just take the time to go to these conferences because I don't have anything else to do. It's time consuming, it's wear and tear on your body, it's expensive, but I go because God has given me a mandate of what he has called me to do, and I want to lift you up to walk into your purpose. And I had the opportunity, and this was God ordained, how he set this up, where we were at breakfast together, and I'm sitting there with this woman and, and her husband, and her her testimony, and she does not know how to weld. And she's and I, this came out of her own mouth talking to me. And she, in partnership with her husband, where he does the welding, but it's basically it's her business. So I'm just trying to tell you, what I want you to do, when I'm pushing you to watch this conference, it's because I want you to catch the spirit of faith. I'm not saying you have to go to the business school. I'm not saying that at all. But I want you to catch the spirit that says, I can do it. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm throwing, catch the spirit of faith. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Now, God bless you. I will see you at that conference or you watch online. Bye-bye.